secondaries the Ashtaka has. Well, still fire. So one thing that you want to make sure you watch out with the Jervis is you don't want to fire a straight line of torps unless you're insanely close to something. You actually want to kind of do this like a tight arc and kind of spread them out. Um, uh, let me make. Yeah, I'll let. I'll let them take care of that. All right, so let's bring it up to full view. All right, so now we got finally we got three. DDs down south, one cruiser with a Belfast over here, along with two Ashtakas and a Nelson. Now, as you can tell, the entire North Fleet, look at this, just a full together tilt. That was great to see from up here. They have one DD, which is a Sims, which is a very interesting pick, and it's going up against a Jervis and a Sims down below in a with sync down there. Those are definitely some good picks. Now, this entire team, as you can tell, they are completely forgetting C. They are going straight A, B. Now, there's a lot of defensive area up here for them to hide behind with the firepower that they've brought with two Floridas and a West Virginia. But what's cool is they got a Duca in Atlanta. Now, if the Duca in Atlanta can hold off a Belfast and Ashtaka and a Yadachi, that's another question. But we, of course, got the fight at A going right now. Uh, Sim Torps are going off right here. They're unfortunately incredibly slow Torps, so we're gonna see how well that goes. Let's see, are they gonna? I think they're gonna sneak in for B, which which makes the most logical sense. But they gotta they gotta hide. Udachi Torps are off, trying to see if hey, if you're gonna peek, you're gonna peek right into my Torps. We got Burkade just absolutely holding A out and flipping it. Cool. Then they just got B along with Flip, just taking two Torps right there. Over here we got Belfesh, Ashitakas. Yep, all right, so they are returning fire. We got some long-range fire between Floridas and Ashitakas. We're going to see, because we haven't seen Ashitakas before in this tournament. So let's see right here. Uh, Sims, once again, holding it out, trying to contest with A, but now you've got both the Belfast and Sims. That's a very dangerous uh, situation, Sink. You might want to uh, wait on that. We got Sprock sitting right here in a clutch area. This is a very good area. Both sides of this is a very good play. Uh, you can hide, sit around, and also do that. Got a lot of firepower in there. There goes Brigade on that side over here. Oh, there goes Sink right there. Double right there. Both Sims right out and such. Let's see if Sprock can take on that. Super Boo is not doing a great time in the Ashtaka. Taking a lot of damage from that Belfast along with the Florida up there with Andre. Over here, they're holding B, but we got two caps to one. It looks like they might be starting to take over A, but we do have Torps from the Jervis moving in. Edward is going to take them. It looks like a nice little stream. Doop, 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 doop. All right, so we're moving on with that. We got Super Boo burning alive down here from the t There he goes, down and such. As you can tell, Udachi's holding over there. Belfast is sitting up there in its smoke along with Shredder putting firepower on the two cruisers in the middle holding that situation. Ooh, that was a nice hit on Fury over there. Shredder, nice hit. We got more torpedoes. So he's, he's doing a steady stream from a British uh, DD. This actually is a very excellent tactic. If you know your, your target isn't exactly gonna be in one area, sometimes let out a minefield of, of torps just at a slow rate so they can't dodge one. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna take, they can't dodge them all. They're gonna take a few at a time. Over here, we got a long range battle. We got Mag2 over at B pushing on there. Two caps to zero right now. They have to take some and Andre, Literally just sitting right outside of it, but he could easily take it. And once again, you got Spock right here just laying out just a nice steady stream of torps. And even though most of them will miss, that will get them to be thinking about it so they're not going to be focusing on firing. So, yeah, Udachi is getting quite brave, but that's a, especially up against uh, Atlanta. But the Udachi's torps kind of are showing the problem here. But still, it looks like two, one, one on there. Ooh, nice shredder. Just going in for the smacks this game. Down here, Yudachi's definitely holding. We got uh, one cap to two caps over here. Andre is pushing on A. He's probably noticed, or they have probably noticed, that A has no DD holding there. And of course, the Jervis is just once again laying out that slow rate of fire on there. So as you can tell, basically, we do have a situation where there is a turtle. We got five ships basically in very close proximity. All of them are taking a lot of damage, but that's spreading out their firepower. Nelson, of course, is a very slow burner. 
Uh, shooting AP. Let's see if Ed. Ooh, almost there. Almost there on the West Virginia taken out. Nelson's not in a great position as he's getting focused by multiple things. Spock is sending out another set of torps. There goes the Nelson down and such. Now with two caps held, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for the Buccaneers over here. We do have a tight spread right here. Once again, right here, this, if you would have spread them out, a few torps would have hit, but because you put them all in a line, done. And that Atlanta is about to have fun with Spock over here. And a Duca right there, just, <laughs> oh. Yep, showing that power. Shredder over here is still a powerhouse, but he is blocked by most of his aim. Can the shots land on the Duca? In order to do it, nope, not enough. Kind of like that. Udachi's, once again, retaking B. They're ta retaking cap. That Florida's getting close, but once again, as we talked before, this Florida is a very dangerous ship up close, especially with HE, which in reality, even against Shredder, like Fury of Darkness is about to have a lot of backup here. Oh, yep. Not exactly us. Yes. Uh, high armor ships. Let's see. Shredder's taking, starting to take some fire from the Duca and Andre. Uh, the West Virginia would probably be better to actually just turn his turrets and go north instead to just start flanking that side and actually pushing Shredder's firepower in multiple areas, spreading his turrets out right there. There we go. There goes down the Udachi. And Fury of Darkness is just holding. You know, take B. Just sit there. You know, enjoy yourself. You know, maybe take a beach trip and such you know just you don't need to risk your life and such uh, you got plenty of uh health from other ships and yep uh, west virginia has turned to turrets and just wayne lacing that Ooh, fury of darkness just decided he just wanted to just have some fun <laughs> that was very good uh ashitaka's that was an interesting pick but it looks like the florida is florida and west virginia's just have a little bit more oomph to them all right Looks like we might go might go right into that. Sorry, I'm gonna not be able to do too much, but once again, right here with this setup, as you can tell, that that you know a lot of or more DDs doesn't necessarily mean a better win, and especially with the amount of firepower that they had compared to the Ashitakas, that just didn't happen. But that was a very very good game from them, very good challenge from that, and we got GGs all around. So great time, perfect. All right.